Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Inezalea, and today it's another Filmmaking Friday. Alright, so Filmmaking Friday, which means we're going to talk about filmmaking, but filmmaking also applies on where you upload it and social media. In this case, we're going to be talking about Instagram, because Instagram has a completely different way of presenting your work online. As you know, YouTube has the aspect ratio 16 by 9, which is the regular full HD aspect ratio. Um, to, to view your videos in a wide screen. But Instagram actually made a dent in the universe and actually twisted that to be vertical. So in this video, I will be showing you a few tips and tricks to create the best render settings for your Instagram stories, for Instagram TV, and also for your posts. So first of all, I'm going to make you an example for the post. This is uh, just a photo. In this case, I'm just going to be talking about photos, but it's uh, it applies to video as well. So right here, you can see not sure if it focuses but this is a square photo that i put on instagram and you can see how much of your own screen is used uh, posting a square photo and in my opinion that's not the best way of doing it you want to capture your audience to see as much as they can as they're possibly allowed on your instagram feed when they're scrolling you want to be really sure their entire screen is filled as much as possible with your own work so if we're going to scroll here up I kind of learned about that and here you can see that this is a larger photo so here we're working with a square photo and here we are working with a different aspect ratio where the photos are taking up more space of the screen so this is very important when making posts on your Instagram profile but still when you're uploading to Instagram TV or stories you're working with a completely different uh, resolution and you want them to be even longer to uh, fill up the entire screen so let's jump into Adobe Premiere Pro see the settings uh, for both the post and Instagram stories Instagram stories has the exact same settings as Instagram TV so that's luckily so yeah, let's get started. All right, so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and I imported a video that I uploaded on YouTube. This is actually a tutorial that I created on how to create that old school uh, video effect overlay. So right here you can see these kind of scratches. If you wanna see that, uh, I will put a link below so you can check out that video. But uh, so this is a really cool video. Of course, it's widescreen and on Instagram that wouldn't really work because you're only going to be, uh, if you're going to post this as a video, you're really not going to use enough of your screen space to make your video pop. So let's first work on an Instagram post and then later we are going to see how to do uh, the Instagram stories and Instagram TV. So um, I'm going to be creating a new item right here and I'm going to select sequence I'm going to create a new timeline and I'm just going to head off to settings right away and we're here in the editing mode custom so you can choose your FPS and it's completely up to you I'm going to be using 24 frames per second but a regular full HD video here would be 1920 by 1080 uh, which is an aspect ratio of 16 by 9 and we don't want that we want the video to post on Instagram to be 3 by 4 which means that it's uh, three wide and four high, but this is just an aspect ratio, so the resolution is still different. So to do that, and a good aspect ratio for this is actually 1080 by 810. If we're going to do that, we have a normal four by three aspect ratio, so we wanna invert that. Uh, so that's 810 by 1080, there we go. So now we have a correct aspect ratio for Instagram posts. So once you do that, you can actually save this preset as Instagram post and click OK. So now it will actually appear in the sequence presets all the way at the bottom. Once it's loaded up, we can see that. We can see that right here, Instagram post. So select that and we're going to write that like vintage post or give it a name and then we're going to click OK. So now we have our sequence right here and you can see that we have a nice aspect ratio to work with. This is the maximum capacity on Instagram to actually see. So uh, what I'll do is actually drag in my video right here and keep the existing settings. And of course, your video is going to be too big, so you will have to click on it and change the scale. So we'll go to effects and controls and just drag this down as much as we can. Well, actually, it's kind of a perfect fit because the height of the video is 1080. And right here, we are also working with 1080 in height. So um, I'm going to play my video. And on some points where I think that she's not correctly framed, what I'll do is I kind of cut this video like until 
until here and then I would go in that specific angle and click on that layer and just move it over so I kind of do tweaks to my edits for Instagram because they're different like right here she's walking too much on the side so what I'll do is kind of go frame by frame with the arrows and then cut it with C and then I go over here to the end of that video cut it over here and then go back click on it and just move it over so I do adjust everything to actually fit for Instagram okay so that's really cool once your video is done uh, for posts uh, you can just export that and you're good to go so now let's say we want to post for Instagram TV uh, let's go and do another one so sequence and go for sequence settings so right here we have custom 24 frames per second and in this case we want to have the full uh, aspect ratio that's 16 by 9 but converted so 9 by 16 so here we're going to enter 1080 by 920 and uh, 1920 of course remember that everything has to be square pixels no fields progressive scan uh, which is ideal for online video and then uh, once you've done that we can again save this preset as Instagram story but I already have one so I won't do that and then you click OK and now you can see that you have an even bigger space to work on so here we can uh, add our video for the Instagram story keep existing settings and we have to click on our video and go to the effects controls to scale it up and there we go again do all the tweaks you want to do here but now we see that our entire screen is nicely filled for this video and you can post it to Instagram story uh, well Instagram TV if you want the story make sure that you go and zoom in here and go at the 15 second mark and then just press um, the out point and then you have to export it that way what I do is if I have a longer story I would actually go and one frame forward with the arrow uh, to the right and then press I to get an end point and then go like at 30 seconds and press O and then export this one and just do that until the entire video is exported and then I will upload that accordingly on my Instagram story so another thing that you can do to kind of spice up your stories is go and apply some cool effects and text animations which you're not allowed to do or actually able to do in the uh, standard Instagram stories so I actually have a really cool way of doing that I will go to the graphics tab right here or you can just go to window and open up the essential graphics here um, these are amazing amazing things that you can make like in After Effects, do crazy animations and then animate them in Premiere Pro. And I actually have a bunch of these on our website uh, if you want to check it out. I will put a link in the description. For example, for weddings, I have a nice wedding title, uh, which you can see once it's loaded up. Uh, give it some time. And there we have it. So uh, we have a really cool overlay for weddings, for example, or if you're going to delete that and go for browse, uh, you can import them very easily. But um, I really like, for example, the baller, uh, well, the ball in intro. So I'm going to apply that over here. And of course, you can click on that and go to the effects controls, maybe scale it down, um, position it up and kind of animated that way but that way you get some really cool animations in your text so you can see uh, really cool you can change the text over here and you can change the size of the text and change the color if you want to of that line uh, maybe to red and you can completely animate it inside Premiere Pro which is really cool uh, to gen then use it uh, maybe right here of course you also have like a uh, Instagram kind of lower thirds which could be very cool because you're on Instagram you can actually promote it a little bit more uh, so I'm going to click on that scale it down a little bit and then kind of move it over to the bottom and now we have something like that a little bumper on the bottom super cool all right so once you're done with everything what you'll have to do is go over here um, and kind of select the entire thing and now for the export settings really simple go to file export media Choose the H.264, which is the best render for online video. It's compact and good quality. And then we want to uh, choose an output um, yeah, kind of location and then export a video and audio, of course. Uh, everything else should be kind of good because it's good to go from uh, Premiere Pro itself. But what I like to do is a lot of people tend to go online and search ways to upload um, yeah, posts and videos to Instagram from their PC but I noticed that video is a very difficult one so I just plug in my cable of my phone I just drag in my video that I want to upload in my folder of my camera and then I would upload that story or Instagram post and just delete that video because it's kind of too big to keep it on my phone but that's how I do it I think that's still the easiest way until today so uh, yeah there you have it all right so that's super cool and if you want to check out our website for the Instagram stories or any other projects we'll put a link in the description below and if you have 
have suggestions like you want some kind of animations for your Instagram stories definitely let me know in the comments below and I might actually be making a pack for that uh, so you can use that very easily but that's it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it if you did give this video a like also be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos and apart from that like I said check out our website and hope to see you guys in the next one goodbye